Now for this uh, demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to use Chad Duprau. He's one of the other guys on the competition team. He's also one of the other coaches here at Bakersfield Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, so now, one of the problems that I've had is that when I'm attacking somebody, my favorite position is basically to be behind them. So in this particular case, it's not always hard to actually get behind your opponent. But when you're here, if it's a tournament, you have to have your hooks in with your legs in order to get any credit for it. But just from an attack standpoint, there's actually a lot of options that you can do from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically using my right leg and I'm putting it across Chad's back. Okay, I'm going to sit as wide as I can. And now from this point, I'm going to establish an over and under grip. And once again, I use a gable. Now, once I have my over and under grip, I'm going to use my right hand to grab Chad's left wrist. Now, once I have his left wrist, my left hand is now going to go up my right arm. The farther up I can get my, my left hand up my right arm, the more pressure and the more control I'm going to have. From this point, again, if you're not able to get hooks in, there's other options. Now, the first thing I can do if it's with a gi, is I can use my right hand to grab Chad's lapel. I have his left side lapel, which is the exact opposite of my right arm. I'm gonna put my left hand behind him, apply pressure here, and there's my first choke. If your opponent doesn't have a gi, go back to the over and under, and from this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my right hand to go across his neck. I'm gonna use my right hand also to cup his shoulder, and then from here, I go for the choke as well. If you're in a situation where you have an opponent who's really tolerant with chokes or they got a real strong neck and you just simply can't choke them, well, what we're going to do is we're going to use an arm bar as an alternative here. So from here, the first thing I want to do is I want to squeeze as much as I can to apply pressure on Chad. The next thing is I'm going to lean forward. Now, if you can, grab the wrist. That's always going to make it easier for you to control the arm. It's real important that I grab his left wrist because that's the arm I'm going to be attacking. Now, from this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull him back a little bit I'm going to put my knee up, pick up, and now I move my right leg in front of his body. So now my right leg is in front of him. It was behind him, but now I've moved it in front of him. All right, my next step is to throw my left leg over. And to finish off the armbar, I turn my over and under into a cross face. Now from this point, I throw my right leg over, putting my knees together tight, and then I go back for the arm. Attacking from the back can be a very versatile position. We've gone over a few different options, so let's just do a quick review. Step one, establish an over and under. Next, you want to sit up behind your opponent. Using your right hand, grab your opponent's left wrist, then move your left hand up your right arm to create more pressure and more easily control your opponent. Now, if your opponent's wearing a gi, you can perform a lapel choke. Now, the way you're going to do this is by using your right hand to grab your opponent's left lapel. Once you've grabbed his left lapel, then you want to pull it across his neck while you use your left arm to go underneath your opponent's left arm and then back behind his neck, creating the choke. Now, the more common scenario will probably be when your opponent doesn't have a gi on. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to use my right arm to go as far across my opponent's neck as possible. Now, once I've gotten my reach as far as I possibly can, I'm going to cup his shoulder with my hand, and then I'm going to release my over and under and just go for a regular rear naked choke. The rear naked choke is then completed by using your right hand to grab your left bicep. And then once you've done that, you want to bring your left hand behind your opponent's neck. Another great option from here is the arm bar. Now, once again, starting with an over and under in place, we want to lean forward and gain control of our opponent's wrist. The next step is you want to lift them back up and slide your right leg in front of your opponent and place your left leg over the top of them. Now, to finish the arm bar, we want to turn our over and under into a cross face. The next step is to throw our right leg over our opponent's head, pinch our knees together, and fall back for the arm. So this concludes this segment of Intermediate Jiu-Jitsu. Hopefully this gave you some options to go for when you have your opponents back. Join us in our next segment where we go over Advanced Jiu-Jitsu. We'll be going over one of our favorite leg locks we do called the 661. Uh, for those of you that like to do the X-Guard, hopefully this will give you an option whenever you're having a, a challenge with your opponent.